Hey y'all. I think this is live. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. Definitely need to adjust this angle a little bit more. Hold on y'all. Trying to figure this out. Give me a minute. I need to adjust this up. Let's see, is that better? I'm trying to figure out this angle, y'all. Let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see, is this better? Give me a second, y'all. Okay. I'm doing a live video. Bear with me for just another minute more. I'm going to adjust this one more time. A little bit more. Let's see. Did that work? I couldn't figure out how to like test this whole where I am before I sat down. Let's see. Okay. This may, this may work. This may work. I think we're going to be good. Hello, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Good morning, or actually, I think it's afternoon. Yeah, it's definitely. Hey, can we not? Can... There's a train going by, so the dogs are barking. Can, can we not? Can we not do the barking thing? I'd appreciate it. All right, y'all. Oh, okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Today we are doing a live video. I posted a video yesterday and a ton of y'all were asking how I did my hair and makeup for the last clip that I posted. And so I figured today I would do a live video and I'll get extra ready and actually do my full makeup routine and share it with y'all. Figured if I'm getting ready, I might as well put it on live video and chat with y'all. Stop it! Stop it! Why are we barking? Why are we barking? Alright. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to open the door and let the dogs up. Hold on. They went out, or they ran to go attack the train, I guess. I don't know. All right, so we are going to get started doing my hair and makeup routine for the day. Me and my mom are going to be filming a video here in a little while, so I figured I would look nice. Oh, y'all came back. The dogs are back. And if y'all pull over this ring light, I have my stuff set up on. I'm going to be so angry. Can we just settle down? Mother's trying to record a video. They're crazy dogs, right? Okay, hold on. I'm trying to keep my office door closed so we can't hear the TV that Cody is watching in the living room. All right. We're going to get started because I will never finish. So I always put a headband in my hair while I do my makeup just to kind of make it easier and we're going to get started. Can y'all, hey, what are y'all doing over there dogs? Don't look at each other like that. Let's check out the comments. All right. Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. Hello from Massachusetts, El Salvador, California. North Carolina, y'all are from all over the place. All right, we're going to just hop right in and I will chat along as we go. So first things first, I'm going to put a primer on my face. I am using the Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer. I don't even know where I got this from, but it seems to work. I like the consistency of it. It feels almost like a moisturizer. So I do a couple squirts in the palm of my hand and we just rub it in all over my face. Down the neck, 
Whew. And we're primed and ready to rock and roll. All right, I need my mirror. It's weird because I normally do this, you know, in front of a big mirror. So we're just going to have to make this work today. Man, Wyoming, Virginia, Florida, New Orleans, Utah, Houston, all over the place. Let's see. Up next, I am going to do my foundation. So this is a Real Techniques blender or makeup sponge. I love this. It's like the beauty blender, but it's so much cheaper for one of these. And it's a sponge. I get it wet. I wring out most of the water and I use this to bounce the foundation on my skin. I'm using this Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation. I really hope that there's enough left in here to do my foundation today because it's looking like it's real empty and I don't know what the solution is going to be if um, we run out we're just gonna hope for the best I'm going to squirt some on here like four or five pumps and we're going to foundation my face this is probably the second time I've done a full face of makeup since quarantine started in March or at least consisting of false lashes and everything. So let's blot it around the face and start blending it in. I can really do this makeup routine in about 10 minutes if I don't put on false eyelashes but today it'll take a little bit longer because I am going to put on false eyelashes because I got a lot of questions about those and because I'm talking. But I do this so quickly because putting on makeup is such a chore to me. So it is what it is. While I'm right here, I need to turn off my TV. Hold on. All right. Still blending, still blending. Alright, give it on my forehead, on my eyes. And then I'll do another squirt and blend it down at my neck just a little bit. Someone asked me, where's the coffee? I actually just finished drinking my iced coffee of the morning. I have started doing intermittent fasting and actually like tracking it. So I've been doing 16-8 fasting. So where I fast for 16 hours of the day and eat within a eight hour window. So I can't really have my iced coffee until between 11.30 and noon, depending on when you depending on when I stopped eating dinner the night before and not having my iced coffee when I wake up in the morning is probably the hardest thing about fasting for me. You can totally have black coffee while you fast, but the whole no creamer, no sweetener thing makes it not even worth it to drink the coffee. All right, I think we're about blended in. Let me do one last thing, make sure I don't have any spots that are... The thing is I'm looking into a bright ring light and so when I look in the mirror, there's like a light circle. So we're just going to hope for the best. We're just going to hope that it looks good. Alright, so foundation is blending in. Um. Someone asked, I've done fasting before, how much did you lose? So I fast kind of typically, but I've never really tracked my fasting. I just kind of wouldn't eat until I got hungry, and that was normally between 11 and 1 in each morning. So I'm actually tracking it and trying to do it every single day consistently. 
and we're gonna see I've been doing it for three or four days now and I'm down three pounds which is great because while I was on vacation or not really vacation while Cody was in Alabama working my diet was definitely not the best and I'm feeling kind of bloated from that so started intermittent fasting and we'll see how it works for me I have this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this stuff is super powerful and I just put a couple of dots right underneath my eye. Just a very little amount because a little bit of this stuff goes a very long way. Alright, so we're just going to bounce that underneath my eye and going towards like what is that in a diagonal up towards my eye as well you're just wanting to brighten your under eye maybe hide a little bit of these dark circles Oh, Myra. Okay, I didn't. I was having a hard time reading your username, and now I see it's probably your first and last name. All right, concealer is blended in. Now, up next, I am going to fill in my eyebrows. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush to do this as well as the dip brow pomade i think each of these cost a little there are a little bit of an expensive product well not that expensive but around 20 or so dollars for each of these but it lasts me forever and i just love the way it makes my brows look it's the best one i've been able to find so this is what i use this one's actually almost out but I just bought another one the other day that I haven't busted into it just yet. Let's see. Check. Do you prefer fed or fasted workouts? So I haven't really done many workouts in the last couple of weeks. But I kind of like fasted workouts because it kind of takes my mind off of food in the mornings for a little while longer. But... We just got an elliptical. I did a little workout on the elliptical last night, and I planned to do one at some point today, but I needed to get ready so me and my mom could film a video. So we'll probably do that later today. Am I getting my hair done soon? I actually just got my hair done for the first time in like nine or ten months, maybe a month ago now. And as you can see, I don't know if you can really see it because of the way the light is hitting it, but I have highlights throughout. These pieces around my face are lighter than the rest of my hair. Like they're almost platinum blonde, as you can see reflecting. Um, but I hate getting my hair done. The guy is that, or the guy I see, he is great. He spent eight or nine hours on my hair because he knows how much I like it to look nice on camera so I'm really thankful for him and I just go there and I'm like make it look pretty I don't know anything about hair and he did a wonderful job took forever but I like the end result I like it to look natural but with some pops in it all right let's fill in these eyebrows and hope it goes okay my eyebrows are a little wonky, and so I like to fill them in just to kind of give them a better shape. All right. It's hard for me to talk and do my eyebrows because it's so difficult, and I will just throw them, or not draw them all over the place. Got to go into deep concentration to get these bad boys on. So, drawn on, not drawn on. 
basically just kind of thickens them up a little bit because I have like some weird things like this eyebrow for some reason right here the hair doesn't want to grow and it's like a notch is taken out of my eyebrow I don't know when that happened or why it happened so we fill that bad boy in hide it just a little bit Jara, thank you so much for the super chat. That's so sweet. Thank you. All right. Let me hurry up and get these darn eyebrows drawn in so I don't have to concentrate anymore. This left eyebrow, this is my worst eyebrow. It just grows all wonky. And I always have the hardest time matching it to the other one. So sometimes I just have wonky eyebrows and it is what it is. Your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Although sometimes mine are more like distant cousins sometimes, but it is what it is. We just roll with it. All right, let's see. They're about as good as they're gonna get. I think my left one is slightly higher, but that eyebrow is just slightly higher in general. So we roll with it, y'all, we roll with it. How does it feel to be engaged? Well, I'm not gonna lie, nothing has changed. I mean, the only thing is I have this beautiful ring on my finger. Cody did a fabulous job picking out and designing the ring. It's beautiful and it's perfect. Um, but I mean, I'm excited for our life together. All right, up next. Oh, someone asked what foundation I used. Uh, Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. But the foundation I use just depends on what color skin tone I am the, during the week because I get tan, I get lighter, I get tanner, I get lighter. So I have like 16 different shades of foundation from all different brands and whatever matches me the best that week is what I use. Um, up next, I am using bronzer. This is the Hoola Benefit uh, bronzer. I like this bronzer. I've used it for years and it's just a pretty brown for my skin tone so I just dip that in there and I like to contour the cheekbones and around my face and sometimes like my jawbone just a little bit and I desperately need to wash these makeup brushes but I'm probably going to continue to put that off because that's what I do so if you've never really contoured your face before um what's good is you kind of get into like a room where when you look at yourself in the mirror you can see kind of where the natural shadow of your cheekbone falls and that's where you want to contour so that's about right here and I'll do a little bit do a little bit on the other side as well and I don't like my contour to be super thick so I will go in and do the edge of my forehead I don't know why I do this I've just seen the people on the beauty channels do it so I do it as well just bronze my hairline pretty much and then once a lot of that product comes off of the brush I go back in and finish contouring my cheekbones and blend that out easy peasy lemon squeezy all right like, honestly, when I do this on a day-to-day -day makeup routine, I'm like, and we're done. But today, I'm making it look a little bit nicer. Um, when is the wedding? Um, we haven't planned a wedding. I don't know when it's going to be. I mean, right now, with coronavirus, and it's just... I don't know when that's going to end. I don't really know when things are going to go back to normal. 
So it isn't a top priority right now to schedule a wedding. I don't really want a wedding. We talked about going on a fishing boat and like almost eloping, but having a couple family members there and then going and catching a big old fish in my wedding dress because that just fits me and my personality. But we truly don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know. Okay, up next is blush. This is the Laura Geller. I think that's how you say it. I got this in a boxy charm box and I really like it. And it's, I swear I've been using this for a year and it looks like I haven't used any of the product. It's called the Baked Blush and Bright. And so it's almost like a blush highlighter combo. I don't even know where I just dipped my brush in that. So put a little brush on my cheeks can't really see how much I'm putting on in this light, but we're just going to call that good. But I really love this blush. I honestly would never have picked it up because it's all like swirly looking. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's so pretty on the skin. It just like almost looks like a, like a sun-kissed glow. I like that look, especially because I'm out in the sun so much. I normally don't wear makeup. But sometimes it's fun to try out my makeup and put something on. Let's see. The Hula Benefit? The Hula. Which one's the Hula? Oh, the Hula Blush. Yeah, I have that one as well. I think it's over here in my makeup drawers. I have so much makeup. I want to do my makeup more often. It's just me finding the time to sit down and do it. I always would rather just fill in my eyebrows, throw on some mascara, and go. That's pretty much all the makeup I've been wearing for the past eight months. When does Cody get to go back to work? Well, due to the coronavirus, he was laid off back in March, or actually April, so we ended up moving back to Texas because he had gotten an awesome job offer, like great job, something he loves to do. And we moved here the week coronavirus started and two weeks into his job, he was unfortunately laid off, which I was devastated for him. Um, but there's so many people in the same boat right now. Um, he still has all of his stuff from his employer, but they're just 40% down for the year because in the oil industry right now, things are not the best. They are slowly starting to come up, but all of the capital projects that they do um, were put on hold because of COVID. So for the time being, he's still laid off. He has some other opportunities at the moment that he's looking into which is great, and I hope one day he can return to the company he originally moved here for, but things are going well. Hopefully he'll get a job again soon, but I have to say I have thoroughly enjoyed him being home with me because we've got to be able to do some things together that we haven't gotten to do before. All right, up next, blush, bronzer, eyes so up next we're gonna do my eyes and for my eyeshadow I always do pretty much the same thing either one brown shade all over and that's the eyeshadow I do or today I'm gonna do a little bit more fancy and I'll use three colors so I don't ever do fancy eyeshadow I don't know how to do it it doesn't look good on me so what I do is I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette right here this thing has been through the works i carried this all over the place with me i just really like this palette i have the orf orfy the morphe m535 blending brush and i just go into some of the browns on this palette i just kind of randomly dip my brush in all of them blow off the excess and put this all over my eye while I'm blending this in, let me check the comments over here. So yeah, there's a couple of y'all who didn't really have a wedding either. I just, I just, 
I look at the price people spend on weddings and I'm so cheap that I'm like, I could travel the world with that. And I don't know. It's just never been a priority of mine. Like I've never really like pinned things on Pinterest about a future wedding. It's just something that doesn't excite me. And I know I'm weird, but just who I am. What's the size of the diamond? I think the big diamond is a carrot that's in the middle of here. I think that's what it is. And then the band has little diamonds in it. It's pretty and it's perfect for me and my lifestyle because the big ring would get in the, in the way. But I still take this ring off and I don't wear it when we fish. I might get it insured and I'd be more likely to wear it but when we're on the boat and stuff, this stays at home because I don't want it to fall off and lose it forever. Alright, still blending in this eyeshadow. I've got to stop talking and focus. Alright. Alright, brown eyeshadow is blended in all over my eye on both eyes. So since we're going a little fancier today, um, I'm going to blend in a darker shadow into my crease. But like I said, most days, this is all the eyeshadow I wear. I put one color all over my entire eye, little um, eyeliner, little mascara, we're good to go. But I am going to do my makeup the same way I did it in the video that people were asking me about. So up next on this palette, I am going to go in with one of these darker brown shades over here. Let's see, can I see it on the camera? Somewhere right here. And put that in the outer V of my eye. <laughs> Read the comments. I don't know how to say your name, but Nar Nara? Nara Lee? I'm so sorry, I know I'm butchering your name, but I wish we could be friends. I need friends. All right, so going in with a darker brown shade, and I just slowly kind of pat that into the corner of my eye and blend it out, being sure that I don't go past like a, the halfway point on my eyelid. I want to keep this color on the right or corner of my eye because it makes your eyes look bigger. Just blending it in, trying to make it look like there's no harsh lines or anything. Just blend, blend, blend. And as you can see, definitely darker than this eye. Beautiful. Perfect. Love it. Now we do it on the other side. All right, blendy blend, blend it out. Does that look okay? It needs to go a little bit darker. Susie Q, thank you for the super nice comment. Your husband lost 35 pounds in one month. I swear men lose weight so much easier than females. Cody will eat like one less meal or like half, not one less meal, like cut his portions down for one day and he'll be like three pounds lighter. And I'm like, how? Why does that happen? It's not fair. All right, I think we're good here. 
think we're good. And the final step of my eyeshadow routine, I'm actually going to do some glitter today because why not? This is the Stila, what are these called? Liquid eyeshadow and it's basically just like glitter in a tube. And I really like how these apply on the eye and they just look really pretty. And what I do is open this thing up. I don't want too much glitter, too much, well actually, hold on. Let me look over here in my makeup drawer. I think I'm gonna do this color instead. This one isn't as chunky glitter, it's more so just like, I don't know what to call it, but I like this. It's pretty and it'll just give me a little pop in my eyes that brightens them up. Have I ever done like a cat eye liquid liner? I have done that before, but I can never make my wings match up on my eyes, so I never really do it because it just looks bad. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of this glittery eyeshadow and just dab it in with my finger and get it all over the like first half of my lid. I keep the glitter to one side so it's not too much. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it just gives it a little shine, a little pop of glitter there in the corner of my eye. Cody needs his own YouTube channel. We have been trying to get him to start a YouTube channel just to share some of his barbecue stuff he loves and all the fun things he does. Right? Y'all agree with me. Boys just lose weight so much faster and it's so unfair. So unfair. I hate it so much. All right, let's see that to the other eye. This one does not, this is a brand called Studio Makeup, and I have to say, it does not apply as well as the Stila brand does. I may have to go back over it a little bit. I want it to be a little bit more bold. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on, we're gonna go over here and see if I have a different color, or if we're just gonna use the chunky glitter. Okay, never mind. I can't find the other colors. We're just going to use the chunky glitter. We'll just use a little bit of the Stila one. So I got these. I think they're so pretty. I love glitter. And I all the time tell myself, I'm like, you don't need to wear glitter today. I can totally wear glitter to Walmart. Why not just use these and just go for it? So a little bit more of this. All right, that definitely makes a difference. Ooh, that's almost too much glitter. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. All right. Eyeshadow is done. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I wish I did my makeup more often, like full-on glam makeup. I'm just too lazy to do so. I like the, like, two-minute makeup routine. So for eyeliner today, I'm using the Tarte Sex Kitten. This is like a liquid pin eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I've literally used this thing for over a year, and I think it's finally starting to run out of ink, or not ink, whatever eyeliner is made out of. But I just draw a little line on my eyelid. Yeah, this is definitely running out, but we're going to make it work today. Drawing on the eyeliner. All right. One eye done. And 
and the other eye. All right, good enough. We'll call that good. Up next, we are going to go in with some mascara. So this is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I really like this mascara because the wand is so tiny and the bristles are so tiny. I don't know why. I just really don't like those mascaras with like the br big long bristles on them. I feel like it just makes me get eye sh or not eyeshadow, get mascara all over my eye, all underneath my eye. So these smaller wands is what I prefer and I can make my lashes look super, super big with them. Ooh, Susie, you're watching me at work. Don't tell anyone. Your secret is safe with me. Um, Amy, yes, the crosses that you sent me. I actually have one on my or on my desk right now. I can see it from here, which is super cool. I love those crosses. They are beautiful. Okay, so since I'm doing false lashes, I put on just a small coat of mascara because it helps my um, real eyelashes blend in with the fake ones. So I don't really try to get a big lash pop. Like if I really wanted my lashes to look long, I'll sit there and really pull on them and get that volume and that length. But since it is, I'm going to put false lashes on, I just do a light coat of the mascara just because I think it makes the lashes blend in better. So a little of that. Perfect. I'll do my bottom lashes once I get the false lashes on. I don't, I don't think I've ever done false lashes on camera. Maybe I have once, but I am not the best at them. It's always a struggle. Today I am going to use these Dodo lashes. This is like a brand. They're super cheap. I love these. I have more than I could ever need. Where is it? I just have like piles of these lashes because they're like five to six bucks a piece, I think. I even have a discount code with them. I think the code K Salome saves you money on your order too. I use these lashes whenever I put on false lashes because, you know, there's a lot of lash companies out there that charge like 20, 25 bucks a pop for some eyelashes. And I hate to break it to you. But they, a majority of the time, all come from the same suppliers in a different country. Almost always. Not every time. But a lot of these lashes that you can find through some of these retailers in other countries, same thing. And people get them and mark them up. So if you buy directly from the supplier, you can get super cheap lashes. Fun fact. Anyways, all right, those are up. We're going to use the Dodo Lashes D327. And these are definitely very full lashes. So when I first put these on the other day, I thought that they were too much. But as the day went on, I really grew to like these. They're fluffy, they're full, and it makes my eyes look really good on camera is the main reason why I like them. In person, it may look a little bit too much. It's hard for me to tell. But on camera, I was taking some videos and pictures for a brand. It looked really nice. So we are going to use these same ones today. Let me think, what do I need? I need some glue. I use the Duo Lash Glue. You can pick this up at Walgreens. I think it's like five bucks. And I have my lashes. I'm a little nervous to apply these on camera. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Is it still hot in Texas? Yes, it is still hot in Texas. It is The high is 90 degrees today and the low is 76. So definitely still hot. We had a little bit of a cool front come through. So the highs are not near the hundreds anymore. 
but we're still in the 90s here. I'm ready for it to cool off. The other day we had a morning where it was like 72 because we had like a rain, some rain come through and a cold front. And that was very nice. Okay, false lash time. All right, bear with me. We're going to try this. So I always use a, what are these called? Tweezers to apply my lashes. It makes it easier for me to set them on my eye. So I grab my tweezers and grab them like a third of the way towards the end of the lashes. If I grab in the middle, it's hard for me. So I like grabbing them near the edge. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm trying it. So grab the lashes like so. And then using my glue, I'll put a light strip of glue all along the edge of the band. You don't want a ton of glue. You don't want it thick. You just want enough where it'll stick to your eye and not get everywhere. So put your little layer of glue on like so. And now here's the key if you ever want to wear false eyelashes. Once you put the glue on, wait approximately 30 seconds until the glue gets tacky. If I were to put them on right now, they're not going to stick. The glue is going to go all over my eye. So you just want to sit, let them get nice and tacky, and then set them on your eye. And it's a lot more likely to stick on your first try. Hello, Inza. Thanks for watching my channel. Do I take any vitamins or supplements now? I have taken some supplements here and there, some man sports supplements. That used to be a company I worked with a lot. And I haven't taken them just because I haven't been working out. But I am about to get back into working out, doing more of that. I just miss it. I miss the endorphins that working out gives me. We've been walking a lot. I'm ready to get back into a gym, but I've been staying away from the gym due to COVID, obviously. But... Me and Cody got some weights. We have an elliptical. We have a pull-up, a chin-up bar, a dip machine thing. So we can get kind of a workout in here. So I am doing that right now. When did I get in, when did I get engaged? It was in July, I think, right? July, August, September. I think it was July, June, July. I don't know the dates anymore. All right, let's try and put this on my eye. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really get this on camera, but just kind of set it on my lash line, then use my tweezers to position it how I want. Try and get it perfectly on my lash line so it looks, I mean, these aren't gonna look natural by any means, but you want them to be on your eye on your eye, what's, I just said it, on your lash line because that's where you're gonna, they're gonna look and blend in the best. And then I just take the end of my tweezers and just kind of press down on the lash band and they stick. That's why you want the glue to get tacky so when you put it down, they stay exactly where you put them. And that definitely makes a difference. These are definitely very big, very fluffy, and these are not something I would ever wear every day. Like an everyday lash for me is definitely something that gives me like a little bit of volume, but, but very much so blends in with my normal eyelashes. These are definitely like going out lashes, but I need to take some pictures today anyways for Instagram. So I figured I'll do my makeup, look nice and fancy. Should be fun. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the other lashes. Like so. Yeah, I wanna really start sharing some of the home workouts that I'm doing. Like we were at Walmart the other day. Do you know how weights have been sold out of like everywhere since coronavirus started? We found this pack of weights at Walmart it's basically like it has a little bar and it comes with multiple different weights and you can make from like a seven and a half pound dumbbell to like a 
20 pound dumbbell or something like that but they're normally like 50 or 60 bucks and they were ringing up as 18.95 at walmart so cody and i bought two of those and since we now have two we can now make seven and a half pound dumbbells to 30 pound dumbbells so i was pretty happy about that find um i don't know if it was still there i don't know why it was like hidden clearance but i was super pumped when we found that All right, I'm going to do the other one now, just a thin layer of lash glue. I accidentally did a little bit too much glue. We'll just have to let it chill for longer. Do I brush uh, my dog's teeth? I've tried and I have not gotten to a habit of brushing their teeth. I use those, I give them those greeny treats, like those, uh, the treats that are supposed to help with their teeth and cleaning them, the ones with like the little bristles so when they chew on it. So I do use those as their, oh, I said the T word, and Bo just sat up over there. You can see him in my mirror. He was like, what did mother say? But um, I use those to brush their teeth, quote unquote, because... Bo and Cooper will not let me get in their mouths like that. Jody, I hope your surgery went well. And sweets are definitely the worst thing for me. I have a huge sweet tooth so I've tried to find like alternatives that are lower carb like those carb master yogurts I showed in a couple videos ago when I'm craving something sweet I will eat one of those and it really helps satisfy that sugar craving that I want all right I gotta put this eyelash on this this cut or not this side is harder for me to do all right We did it. Whew. These actually went on really easy today. That is a surprise. Especially because I'm filming it. I did not expect that to go right the first time. Anyways. Let's push it down. Make sure it's on there. Ooh, okay. Okay. These are really pretty lashes, I have to say. For, I think these literally cost five or six dollars. I'll link them down below if they still sell this one, D327. I believe they do. Anyways. All right, we are almost done with makeup. What we need to do next is mascara on the lower lash line. Try not to get it all over my face like I always do. Perfect. Other side. Beautiful. The only thing I have left is some lipstick. Hold on. And I left that in the bathroom. I'm going to go grab that really quickly. y'all that I had to walk away okay so for my lipstick today this is by a company called Kat Von D I got this years ago still have it still love it it's the color Lolita in their everlasting liquid lipstick 
And this stuff lasts all day. I really like this color. And I am going to attempt to put this on my lips without getting it everywhere. I'm not the best at putting on lipstick, leapstick. <laughs> I'm just not good at it. Take some We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, I totally messed up on the corner of my mouth. Thankfully, we have Q-tips to fix that. I hate when I have makeup on and my whole side of my nose is itching and I just wanna itch it, but I can't. We'll tap it with a Q-tip and maybe it'll make it go away. Ah. Okay. Fix the corner of my mouth. And we'll call that good to go. So I think makeup is done. I'll put on a little bit of this clear gloss. This is by the brand Pixie. I don't know, oh, what is this? It says Lip Lift Max. So I guess this is actually a lip plumping lip gloss. But I'll do just a little dab of this because I like the way lip gloss makes my lips shine. Just a little bit of that. And now makeup is complete. Yay. As you can see, makeup is done. I think I've done everything. Does it look look right? I think it does. So up next, we are going to do my hair. And I'm going to curl it today. So let me brush it out real quickly. Check the comments. So, Kate Cat 11 who's addicted to Quest cookies, do you ever stick them in like the toaster oven, let them get hot and kind of bake? It's delicious. I hate Quest bars cold and the Quest, I hate the really, I really hate the Quest products when they're cold, but when you throw them in the toaster oven, it changes the game. All right, so. Brush out my hair, like so. And then I just split it down the middle. And so to prep my hair when I'm curling it, my hair always curls and holds better when it's a little bit dirty. And since I just washed it last night, I am going to spray some salt hair mist. It's like a salt spray. I just spray it kind of on the lower half of my hair and it makes it where it just holds curls better. So is my hair naturally straight? So this is pretty much my natural hair. I took a shower last night, slept on it, woke up. And so my hair is naturally pretty straight. For the longest time, it was wavy, and some days it still decides it wants to wave. But I think once I started coloring my hair a couple of years ago, my hair got straighter, which is fine because a lot of the time I just wake up don't put any heat products in it and we call it a day but since we're curling it today obviously we're putting heat products in it okay salt spray you always want to shake it up and then ow, i just dropped that on my foot we are just going to spritz the ends of this just a little mist let that start drying all right salt spray is in you really don't need much to make a difference but it just helps with the texture and your hair's ability to hold the curls so darren you asked about almond flour and recipes there is times where almond flour can make a recipe really, really dry, and that is usually just because almond flour does that. Um, a lot of the time, I always experiment with almond flour because, yeah, I can have that really drying effect in recipes, and it's no good. You don't want to eat that. 
let's see. My hair is so shiny. Really, so I use like Pantene shampoo and conditioner. Like the cheap stuff from the grocery store. My hairdresser was appalled, but that's what I use. It's cheap. I go through a lot because I have a lot of hair, and that's what I buy. I should probably splurge and, you know, use more expensive products, but I don't. But let me show you my saving grace. Hold on, I'm going to have to run to the bathroom and grab that too. Okay, so this is what I've used. It's my Holy Grail hair, hair. My Holy Grail hair product. I have used this since before 2015, so more than five years. Like when I was studying abroad in Australia, I was like, mother, the only thing I want from home is to bring me one of these because this stuff does wonders for my hair. I think it's like $36 for this 10 ounce bottle, which is kind of expensive, but this lasts me more than six months. It has like 10 benefits. So it's like, it helps with dry and damaged hair, adds shine, it detangles. Um, it has like a heat protectant in it. Anytime I wash my hair, as soon as I get out of the shower, I spray this all in my hair, brush it through, and I've used this for years now. Love this stuff, swear by it, try it out, especially if you have like tangly hair. It's the only detangler that has truly worked for me, and I love it. So, yes, I do know that I only need to shampoo my scalp, but I probably use more shampoo than I need to, but it's just what I do. So, let me grab my curling iron. This is what I use, is a wand from... Hot Shot Tools. I've used this thing for years. She's still holding on strong. And I just prefer wands versus a curling iron to curl my hair. These are so much easier to me. I really like them. So this is what we're gonna use. I should probably get a towel to put this on instead of a plastic table because I really don't wanna melt my table today. I'm gonna plug this in, so bear with me for just a second. Get this plugged in over here. Let it start heating up. And let that heat up. I'm going to grab a towel. Sorry, I have to walk out of camera again. Come here, Cooper. Come here, my little Cooper Cooper. Watch out. Come on. Come back in. All right. We're good. We're good. I am back. Sorry, I had to walk away. I just wanted to set this on a towel to be on the safe side. Uh, the hair product I've been using for years, it's called It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In Product. Here, get a close look at it. Look, here it is. Here is the product. Let's see. All right. We're gonna let this heat up. I always put my iron on the hottest setting, but since I don't use a lot of heat in my hair, I just kind of fry it when I do. <laughs> so I have it at 450. You can definitely go lower. I just curl my hair in really thick sections so I can get it done faster. So I crank this bad boy up. Oopsies. Thank you so much, Hannah. All right. So for my hair, when I curl it, basically you can do this two ways. You can section it off and like do the lower half and the upper half. But when I curl my hair, I really only curl from about maybe here down. I just grab my hair in sections and curl it. So, I guess we can get started. I think this iron is plenty hot. These eyelashes are definitely, you can feel them on your eyes. These are really big. A lot of the times when I wear false eyelashes, I can't feel them. But these, I can definitely feel them 
on my eyes today, which is why I keep touching them. All right, hair is fully separated. So now to curl it, I grab me a section from the back, like so. Just a section like this. I probably should get a mirror so I don't burn myself while I do this. So I have some recollection of where this iron is. And we try not to knock everything off real quick. Just moving everything. Hold on. Okay. And now I just wrap it around, hold it for like 10 seconds. Ooh, it looks like there's someone I've got to block when this piece of hair is done. Anyways, all right, so I let it sit for about 10 seconds. And then when I pull it off, I let it fall into my hand and I kind of hold the curl for a second and let it cool off. And it makes the, um, makes the hair, um, keep the curl better once you, why am I having a hard time speaking? So when I pull the curl off the iron, I hold it in my hair or hold it in my hand, hold the curl for a second and let it cool. And it holds the curl a lot better. Let's see. All right. Jacob is now blocked. Yay. All right. Yeah, so for heat protectant, this has a heat protectant in it. And since I just used it last night and sprayed it all over my hair, I don't feel the need to add a thermal protectant. I do have one, like if it's um, the next day or two when I curl, or if I were to curl my hair a day or two after I have shampooed my hair, I have a thermal protectant I can spray in it, but this is plenty for now. No winged eyeliner look today because I just cannot get those darn things even. I want to practice and get better at winged eyeliner, but that's why I do the eyeshadow on my eyes. It just kind of almost makes it look like I winged my eyeliner. Now we go through the slow process of doing this across my entire head. <laughs> Just, this is what we do. Put it in my hand, squeeze it down, and let it cool off. Do y'all have any questions, anything I can answer while I sit here and do this? Honestly, for I have never really fried my hair. It's always felt super healthy, even though I use heat products from time to time, like this and my straightener. But I really don't put heat on it that much. I go natural hair as much as I can to avoid frying my hair, especially because it's color treated. Will I be doing Keytober this year? I do plan on doing Keytober, which is where I do basically a vlog, what I eat in a day type video every single day for the month of October. And I do plan on doing that. Yeah, you can see the sleeping pups sometimes. There's one here and there's one here next to me. Cooper and Bo are both in here chilling. Oh, you can see little Cooper's face now. Um, yes, the eyelashes I have on, they can be reused. They say you can get like 20 or so wears out of them. I have some lashes I have definitely gotten more than 20 uses out of them. It's all about just keeping them uh, maintained. Like when you take them off your eyes, immediately put them back into your lash case 
If there's any excess glue on them, you can peel that off or get it off with a little bit of makeup remover. Um, you can brush out the lashes with something like an eyebrow spoolie. Um, so if you keep proper care of your lashes, definitely can reuse them quite a bit. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is pink. I love pink so much. I don't know why. Pink just makes me happy. I love pink. And do I have any plans for the holidays yet? We have none. I don't know what we're going to do. We've got to see if Cody has a job by then. Um, we live here in Baytown, three minutes away from my parents, which is super nice. So hopefully we'll be able to go and spend time with Cody's family for the holidays since he doesn't get to see them as often. What do I use that gives my hair shine? Like I said, this it's a 10 miracle leave-in product. This is what gives me my shine. Probably also the expensive hair coloring I did. That helps with shine as well. That's why I did the highlights the way we did because it makes my hair look shiny. Have I tried keto coconut oil in my coffee? I have. I don't really like to put coconut oil in my coffee. I did just get the Omega Power Creamer in the pumpkin spice flavor, and I'm really excited to give that a try in my hot coffee, which is kind of like a butter, ghee, pumpkin spicy combo is what I believe the Power Creamer is. Um, so I'm going to try that in an upcoming video. Uh, where's Cody? He's in there laying on the couch watching TV. Do I have an instant pot? Yeah, I do have a pressure cooker, but it scares me to use it. I don't like when you have to release the pressure and it shoots up. It freaks me out. I don't know. So I don't use it, but it's sitting in my um, cabinet taking up a lot of space. And I really need to use it because there's some great recipes I've seen that people use their pressure cooker for, but I just am a pansy and don't like using it. Do, 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 do. What year is my Ram? So I drive a Dodge Ram truck. It's a 2010. I got it when I was in high school. It was pretty much brand new. It had 3,000 miles on it, um, and I'm still driving it to this day. It's got like 196,000 miles on it. It's got a V6 in it, I believe, and um, I mean, it's a great little truck. It's gotten me this far. I know I'm going to have to get a new vehicle here sooner or later, but for the time being, I'm driving that little thing until the wheels fall off. The other day, I was in Florida and I was so excited. It was going to be such a good day. I started my vlog and I was in my truck driving. I was at a stoplight, started my vlog, and I was like to the camera. I was like, this is going to be such a good day. Everything's going to go well. Literally 30 seconds after I shut off my camera, my truck started overheating and I had to pull to the side of the road. And thankfully, I pulled into a place and there was an oil change store next door and they kind of helped me figure out what I needed to do but my truck overheated I had to go spend like $450 and get a new radiator but it is what it is I was very very thankful that my truck overheated the last u-turn before I had to get on a four mile long bridge that I could not have pulled over on so I got very lucky but that truck I know it's getting near the end of its lifespan, so I don't want a car payment. We're just going to keep driving it and hope she, hope she works out for me for a little while longer. Let's see. Cody is doing great. We're having fun. He's a little tired right now because when we were in Alabama, he worked with his brother every day, all day long. 
and they were doing like landscaping and remodeling his house. So we have just been chilling for the past couple of days because we were all exhausted. Let's see. Trying to read. Is Cody watching football? I don't know. No, because he really, he doesn't really care for professional football. He likes um, college football. He likes the team Alabama. He's a big old Alabama fan. So college football is on Saturdays, right? Have I tried Bulletproof Coffee? Yeah, I used to drink Bulletproof Coffee a lot when I first started keto. But nowadays, I just don't drink it. I don't need the extra calories. I would rather eat the calories. <laughs> so um, I just do heavy cream in my coffee most days. Have I always used Stevia? Yeah, I use Stevia in my coffee. I just really like the way Stevia tastes. Some people don't, and that's okay. I just really like Stevia, especially the little liquid Stevia. I can, ow, that hurt, that I can carry around with me. Um, it's just what I enjoy. Ah, this is really hot. I see like Instant Pot recipes all over Pinterest because I love Pinterest. I get on Pinterest like three times a day. So I should use it. I just don't. I need to get over my fear. Any shows that we're watching lately? So we weren't, we haven't watched Netflix really in like three weeks. We just started watching it again last night because we've been out of town. And we're trying to find a new show to binge watch. We just finished up one and I cannot, what show was it? I can't remember what it was off the top of my head, but it was super cute and we're so sad it's over. Cody and I's favorite show on Netflix, though, is Heart of Dixie. It's just about an Alabama little town, and it's so cute, and I'm so sad they ended it years ago. Oh, that hurt. I just grabbed the hot part instead of the not hot part. I've got to pay attention instead of talking. Breathe, Catherine. Breathe. Let me read this since I just burnt the heck out of myself. Can you put the products that you can buy from Amazon? Yes, I am going to link all the products that I used today if I can find them. I'll link them down below in the description as soon as I'm done with this video. How tall am I? Um, I am five foot one. I'm kind of short. Looking at wedding dresses, I have looked at a couple wedding dresses and then I realized how w expensive wedding dresses are. So I started looking at wedding dresses on Amazon. I need to splurge. There's a dress I really, really like, but it's like $3,000. And I don't think that I could ever convince myself that it would be worth $3,000 to spend on a dress. I don't know, y'all. This curling iron is making it so hot in my office. I may have to open this door and let some air in. Oh my God, Cody, you scared me. Do you want to say hi? No? Okay. I saw my wedding dresses. <laughs> <laughs> Cody said, I heard something about wedding dresses and walk this way. <sighs> dog just moved my ring light. Really, dog? Gotta fix that real quick. Okay. Anyways, where were we at? Your height and wedding dresses. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, we did watch Heartland on Netflix. It was great. I love Heartland. It's such a just like a feel good show. We have not watched Lucifer on Netflix. Is it good? Okay. 
I should try the natural release on the Instant Pot, because then it doesn't shoot up really quickly. I did look on David's bridal. There is some pretty dresses that you can get for relatively cheap. You can just buy them big and have them altered and have them fit custom to you. And I think they'd be pretty. And there's no need to spend so much money on a dress. What is it? Let's see. Sweet Magnolias. So I heard that Sweet Magnolias is a good one to start. So that one is on my list because I some ad was sponsored to me. It was like, if you watched Heart of Dixie and loved it, here's five other shows you can watch. That was very specific and kind of weird that it recommended me that ad, but I clicked on it and Sweet Magnolias was in there. So definitely want to try that one out, see if we can get into it. We're almost done. Why does this take so long? Where am I going when I get all done? Um, I may take a couple pictures for Instagram since I look nice. Um, me and my mom are going to cook a recipe today that I'm going to put on my YouTube channel probably tomorrow. So I figured I'll look nice for that video. Um, so yeah, that's probably it. We really are avoiding really going out anywhere right now. Just better to stay home. If we don't have to go out, we don't really go out. All right, two more curls, two more. We're almost done with this nonsense. Ooh, that's a really good idea about renting a dress. Never thought of that for a wedding dress. Do I have a favorite movie? So, to be honest, I really didn't start watching movies until a couple of years ago. I just don't have the patience to sit there and watch a movie. I'm just, I just don't. I play with my phone. So, I really don't know if I have a favorite movie. I don't know. All right, last curl. Thank God. See, I've looked at Rent the Runway before, but I've never pulled the trigger and actually rented a dress from them. How old am I? I'm 26. All right, I think we are curled. Any hair that I missed? I don't think so. All right, hair is done. Well, not totally, but it's done being curled. Have a great day, Susie. Okay, so once my hair is curled, I'm gonna let it cool for about the next minute. Let these last curls get fully cooled down. boat question pontoon or jet boat so if you're looking for something to take the family out on it depends on what you're into 
So if your kids are going to want to, you know, ride the tube or water ski or jet or not water ski or wakeboard, that's the word I was looking for. A jet boat is probably more the way you want to go. If you, what is it? No, it's not. Oh, Cody said no, it's not. It's not throw a wake. Well, anyways. If you like to speed, get a jet boat. If you like to party, get a pontoon. Yeah, if you want to party, get a pontoon boat. If you want something to, you know, like I said, tube or something, jet boat. Yeah, lazy party boat, a pontoon is the way to go. And they make some really nice ones now. Why are you looking at me like that? Cody is sitting behind the camera and judging me. Why are you judging me, Cody? If you're going to judge me, you have to at least come and say hello. Hey! Isn't Texas landlocked? No, we live 10 minutes from the coast. All right, so now that my curls are cooling off, I just use my fingers and kind of pull out the curls. Oh my God, I did the same thing. You do the same thing, Cody? Totally. Cody is literally just sitting here judging me. I can't grab my camera and show it. All right, so. She hates when I do this, that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, I know. So this was just the hairspray I happen to have on hand. John Frieda Luxurious Volume. So what I do is I flip my hair upside down and I just spray hairspray all in it. Scrunch it up a little bit. Do it a little bit more. You like you're on the grudge right now. She's <laughs> about to come through y'all's TV. <laughs> flip it back over and it's big, but these curls will fall within like 20 or 30 minutes, so I just do think bigger is better, and they fall prettier. It's big now, but I promise here in just a little while, it will look normal. <laughs> Cody, why are you still judging me? Pharaoh Fawcett hair, huh? <laughs> I'm about to grab my phone and show y'all what Cody No, I'm reading the comments on your phone. Don't do that. I, I have the comments right here on my iPad. Cody. Well, I'm reading them right here, too. Uh-huh. Hey, Crown Lily says you're so beautiful. I know. Thanks, <laughs> Lily. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Lily. I'm not conceited like that. Ow. So, I have a hurt toe, and it really hurts. Yeah, this hair is definitely looking real big. But I promise y'all, in just a little while, it will look normal. So yeah, that pretty much completes my hair and makeup routine. It's big. I promise it'll get smaller. Nice perm, cat. <laughs> Cody. She's got the jerry curl going on right now. <laughs> Baytown. We're right on the coast. Cooper, what are you eating? Do I need to go buy you some more hairspray? Because I know you've used it all. <laughs> Where did Cooper get a piece of paper from? Look at him. You can see him over here. Just munching on some paper. Look at him. Well, if it munching makes him away. happy. Um, Bo is B E A U X, just so you know. Oh my golly. <laughs> Y'all. Nice black eye. Probably, I don't know. Oh, because I'm talking crap to you. Haha, mm -hmm. <laughs> get it. Will the pups be at your wedding? I don't know. I don't know what our wedding yeah, is going to be. Yeah, they're going to have tuxedos <laughs> on. <laughs> Look at Cooper. I'm glad you can't see that he's licking his underside right now. He's doing dog stuff. Whoa, man. Bringing, um... No. 
Bringing up politics, huh? We don't talk about politics. Yeah, we don't talk about politics. Just know I'm from Alabama, and I'm going to leave it at that. Cody, we don't talk about politics on my channel. We keep everything very neutral. A virtual bridal shower? I don't know what that would be, but uh, yeah, let's do it. What's my ideal dinner? What's your ideal dinner, Cody? Cody, come over here and say hello. Stop hermiting behind the camera. I like my space right here. My ideal dinner depends on my mood. Um, I don't know. Guess anywhere with cat. Could be McDonald's or... <laughs> I don't know, steak. We love barbecue and steak and... We love to try new things. What's really good is caramelizing your mushrooms and onions and putting it on top of your steak. Mmm. We're supposed to grill, or we're supposed to smoke some ribs probably tomorrow. And Rob, I'm, stop peeking. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Hold on. My favorite is the filet mignon. Cody, don't, don't leave. Don't leave, Cody. <laughs> Darn it. I was going to take my camera off the tripod, but he ran away before I could get it taken off. Ooh, what a beautiful. All right, y'all. Well, we are done here. I'm trying to think. This is it. Hair is done. Makeup is done. Cody's back. Are you going to actually say hello? Wait, are we going to get a Cody entrance? Hey, y'all. Taking Cooper's shine over here. Hey, buddy. Oh, look, we got Cody. Here, come say hello. What you doing, Cooper? Oh, get your hair. Get oh, your hair. there's a cooper. He likes his sloth. This guy's seen better days. As you can tell, his, uh, his neck is seeing way better days. Right, Cooper? Oh. What's the hat say? It says salty, salty swagger. swagger. Yeah, I don't even know what it says. I have so many hats. Thanks, it's, cats. You get smell my hats. It's a, it's a saltwater apparel company. Oh. You want my chair? No, I'm good. We're about to end it. We're done. But I thought we'd hop on here, say hello today, while I did my hair and makeup. And I had their own clothes since Rob was peeking at me. I knew I was naked. Cody had on clothes. Don't let him tell you that he was <laughs> naked. It's so weird seeing myself after the fact right here. Cody. Even your face like five seconds later. Cody, say hey, y'all. Everyone. Hey, y'all. Now I can watch myself do it and make sure I did it right. There we go. That was a good one. Do we still do fishing videos? We do. They are over on my outdoor channel, which is usually linked down below in the description. Cat stole it. Keyword, my outdoor channel. So it's all hers now. <laughs> they love your hay, y'all, Cody. That they do. Thanks, Kim. My bank account doesn't think it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> when I go to purchase a truck, I will take you along with me. I've never bought a car, so it'll be a very interesting process when I decide to make that very large financial decision. Who are you missing on IG? I'm always posting. I'm just not on cat stuff. I'm not allowed. Centerville, Texas. Awesome. Never heard of it. Centerville. Isn't Centerville where Con Street Bakery is? They make some darn good stuff. We passed through Centerville when we lived in Dallas and we drove to home. Oh, okay. Yep, between Huntsville and Dallas. Told you. All right. No, and what's there? Woody's Smokehouse. Yeah, we yeah, Woody's, Woody's is awesome. Woody's has, is great. I love their uh, smoker out front. The the smoking gun is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all, I hope that y'all have an absolutely fantabulous day. Fantabulous, huh? Yes. What do y'all think of her... Um, Slogans, I guess is what we call it. 
made up words like puppuccino and I just want to run out the door with half of them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, y'all, thanks for tuning in to my live video today. And thank you to Cody for actually coming and saying hello besides staring at me behind the camera. Oh, Jesus. Yes! Myra uses Fantabulous too. Love it. Love it. I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, y'all, I got to close this out. We got to go over to my parents and cook. And that video will probably be live tomorrow, so y'all should watch it because I'm going to cook with my mom, and it'll be fun. Or you can say, forget that, and I got a bottle of rum there, and we do shots and tell on ourselves. No, we're not doing shots. I drank two glasses of wine last night and was intoxicated. More intoxicated than me. I had to take it from her. I think we're doing a shrimp boil today and some lima beans and maybe some zucchini bread. That zucchini bread is so good. So yeah, that is all. I'm glad y'all tuned in with us today. It was fun. And that was how I do my hair and makeup. Super fun. Yeah, I don't drink ever. So, having two glasses of wine with our cheese board last night, it did me in. It did me in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cooper's in there choking. <laughs> Cooper. on paper. Cooper, come here. Do you want to say bye? Come here, Cooper. Come here, Pooper. Come say bye to YouTube. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come here. We got to say bye. Because you haven't been here except eating stuff in the background. You want to say hi? Look at Bobo back there, too. Oh, yes. Say hello and bye. Say hello and bye. Boys. Boys. <laughs> so happy. He's <laughs> like, Mother, let me up here. Oh, my gosh. And like, some hairspray stop. for his Wait, did you just take... No! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Here, Cooper, you want to go? No! <laughs> gosh darn it. Let's put some hairspray in the hair, Cooper. I don't know what's up with this. Oh my gosh. All right. I don't want to pick up Bo because he doesn't like being picked up. But here's Bobo. Say hello and bye, Bobos. All right. I think everybody's tired. Everybody's saying bye. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. And we will see y'all again really soon. Yay. Now I've got to go over here and turn it off. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. Oh, oh, Cooper. No. Get him out of my hair. I just worked hard on that dog. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, you want a treat for that? You want a treat for that? Bye, y'all. I'm going to go close this out. Oh, my knees are hurting from that. There you go, Cooper. Say bye. Let's see. I still can't figure out how to turn this off.